I'm bored. So you gotta tell me some stories. So me Stop talking! You also have to do whatever I say, or you pay for the whole trip. And your story better be special. It's gotta be special! It's gonna be a special story! It's gonna be special! It's gonna be a special story! It's gonna be special! <sighs> Alright. You're gonna pick straws. Whoever picks the shortest straw has to tell me a story. I, the knight, have pulled the shortest straw. God has blessed me with the shortest straw. I am the champion of straw pulling. God has made me the greatest straw puller in the universe because I have his divine protection amongst me, which means that I will be the greatest straw puller that ever existed for the rest of eternity. But before I begin, Miller, wh what the hell are you riding? Look who's talking. Yeah. Yours has what? scales. Yeah. Sure. Thing... Shut up, everybody! Just shut up! Shut up! Everybody, shut up! Shut up, everybody! Just shut up, everybody! Shut up! Uh, shut up! <sighs> Billions of years ago, in a galaxy far, far away, there was a prophet who told a tale of two friends billions of years into the future in a galaxy far, far away on a planet called Earth. What? Ancient Greece. Oh. This is the story of Palamon and Arsite. For what art thou hearest for? Okay, we get it, you're English, but this is ancient Greece. Make him talk like 800 years from now. Cool? Carry on. Um, okay? So what's wrong? And why are you blocking the entrance to my own city? The path of me, Theseus, ruler of Athens. Creon didn't cremate our husband's bodies. They died in the battle at Thebes. As if our husband's dying wasn't bad enough, he had to dishonor us like this! Do something about it! This is blasphemy! This is madness! Dishonor like that? In Greece? Who does he think he is? I'm going to defeat Creon and level all of Thebes! I have defeated Creon and leveled all of Thebes! Uh, my cousin slash brother Palamon. I am wounded. Won't you reach out a hand to help save me? God, will you just suck it up, Arsite? Look, look at this gaping hole in my gut. Take it easy, I was just asking. I'm fine. A band-aid would be nice, though. You two who have survived, what are you doing? What have you to say for yourself? Well, first off, we're, we're kind of writhing in pain due to these flesh wounds. I'm kind of hungry. Second, we just came out of battle. We're exhausted and struggling to survive. Can I at least have a granola bar? Third, I want to go home. We just got our asses handed to us by your men. What else do you want? All right, then. I could kill you, but I feel like it might just be easier to sustain you and keep you living comfortably for the rest of your lives in a tower. Forever. And ever. Will there be food? Of course there's gonna be food! I said for the rest of your life! Then come with me to the tower! So does this mean we have to turn gay now? I have the right mind to... Is that you, Arsite? Perotheus! 
Oh my god, it's been so long! What are you doing around these parts? Why? I was just about to visit my good pal Theseus! What are you doing in that tower? Well, your good pal locked us up here for eternity! Swell guy! That's preposterous! I'll go have a talk with him right this instant! Dude, tell him to free me too! Don't worry about it, he'll take care of it. You, you sure? Yeah, man, don't even worry about it. Alright, I trust you. <sighs> I can't believe I trusted you. Okay, here's your freedom, but never return to Athens. See you, never care, thanks, bye. Whoa! Thanks, Perotheus. Free at last! <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> oh, I feel like I forgot something. Nah. Oh no. I'm banished. That means I can never see Emily again! And thus Palamon remained in the tower. Although still confined, he need only to glance out his window to view his beloved Emily. Arsite, while free to roam as he pleased, was banished from Athens, knowing full well that he may never see Emily ever again. Which leaves us with the question, who was worse off? Palamon! Go to Athens! Okay. <laughs> Well, looks like I'm going to Athens. Hello, welcome to Athens. Can I see your passport? Ah, uh, man. Uh, I don't have it. Oh. Hey, you look kind of almost identical to that Arsite guy that was banished from here exactly five years, 26 days, and four hours ago. Uh, never heard of him. Oh. Well, you still can't get in without a passport. Uh, um... Oh. Actually, I found my passport. Uh. Hmm. Uh. <laughs> Alright, it checks out. Have fun in Athens! Sweet! <laughs> Hello. Have you come to apply for the job? Don't worry about that whole Korean thing. I just put it in there as a joke. <laughs> You're hired. Yee! Excellent. What's your name? Philostrate! Okay. Uh, you may begin paging now. Uh, why don't you take a quick break so you can adjust to the new environment? Okay. Ah, I don't even ask for much. I just want to return to my home city and have this beautiful, gorgeous woman be in love with me for the rest of my life and be rich and become king and have thousands of adoring fans. And, uh, <laughs> oh, man! Child of April All these years, I'm finally free! Ha! 
What right have you to welcome May? What right have you to be alive? Every right! Yeah? Well, she's mine, so get out of here, loser! No! Oh. Well, damn. I thought it would be that easy. Wait, weren't you banished? No. Yes! Ha! <laughs> you totally were! You were totally banished! Yeah, what's your point? I'm telling... Theseus! No. Theseus! Theseus! No, stop! He's lying! I didn't get banished and sneak back into Athens and find a fake passport and lie to the guards and get a job as head page in Emily's court so I can stalk her because my internet's down because I can't do it on Facebook and go into the woods singing like a fairy and chase Palamon here because he said he was going to tell you if I did? I definitely didn't do that. Oh. Well, okay then. Theseus! Yes? He's lying! Oh. Well, then death to you, Arsite. What? Ha! Justice! Wait. Yes? Palamon, how the f did you get out of the tower? Um... I forget? Fair enough. Death to you too, Palamon. Wait! Spare them! I beg of you! Okay. Tournament in 50 weeks. Bring 100 of your finest men. 100 men? And why 50? Whatever happened to a year and a- 50 weeks! Ah, you're just in time. Wait, I said you could bring 100 people. Why did you only bring two? Yeah, I'd like to see you convince 100 people to risk their lives just so I can get a girlfriend. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm sure these fine, dedicated soldiers have trained hard and will account- Actually, no. I paid these guys four bucks each. I met them on my way here. Yeah, I, uh, told these guys we were going to Waterworld. <laughs> when do we get to the water slides? As I was saying, I have erected this stadium in honor of the great battle to take place here. I have also erected these three temples. The Temple of Love, watched over by the Goddess Venus. The Temple of War, watched over by the God Mars. And the Temple of Chastity, watched over by the Goddess Diana. Oh no, I forgot my bathing suit! <sighs> Dear Venus, I know I haven't always been a religious man, but I haven't been with a woman in over a decade. And it'd be freaking awesome if you could help me win tomorrow. Okay. I'm leaving now. And, uh, thank you. Please help. Please. Okay. I'm going. Thanks. Please? Bye. Great Goddess Diana. I really don't want to lose my virginity to either of those two. I'm fairly sure they're both insane and haven't bathed since they were imprisoned. STOP BEING CRUDE AND GO HOME! <sighs> okay... If you'll help me win tomorrow, don't say anything. VICTORIA! That means victory, by the way. It's Latin. Oh, sweet! Uh, wait, I, I, oh, I told you not to say anything, so... Does that mean... Nah, screw it, I'm tired. What the crap? I just promised Palamon he'd win! Papa Saturn! That's not fair! Make him win! <sighs> okay! There are no rules! Now you must fight! Are we at Waterworld yet? <sighs> it's not even worth it. Fight! Arsite, you are clearly the victor! Now ride to your prize, champion! <laughs> oh, you just shot up! My boy! Ugh, what a tragic accident. I have fallen off my horse, and I can't be healed. 
It looks like this is the end for poor old Arsite. Emil, or, or Emily, or however the hell you're actually supposed to pronounce your name. If I die, I just want you to know that I love you. I love you! I love you! I love you! I love you! <laughs> and if you were to marry another man, my cousin brother Palamon should be the one whom you spend the rest of your life with. Run to him, girl. I don't really want to. Damn it, I said run to him! Well, I guess it can't be that bad. But our sight, he lived a long and successful life. Actually, no, that's a complete lie. He was a defeated soldier, then a prisoner, then confined to acting as another person, and then he died. I was enjoying this gladiatorial match until you bunch of pansies started pissing and moaning. I just want to stab both of you. You're so annoying. God says everybody is going to die, so suck it up. The refusal of death is a folly of mankind, and you're being stupid and dumb. Emily, or Emil, or however you pronounce it, just marry Palamon already and get on with your life! Well, okay. Haha, <laughs> yeah! And thus Palamon and Emily lived happily ever after. Theseus got his rage under control and eventually invested in the stock market. The god at the gates of Athens got a promotion because he did such a great job, and our site went to hell. Dude, what was the point of all that? You know, I think I understand why you told us this tale. I mean, sure it was epic and a great way to start off this long pilgrimage, but there's much more to it than that. You've shown us but a few of the ethical dilemmas that a knight faces on a daily basis. These characters, while not perfect, both displayed bravery and honored their commitments. Not only that, but you showed us how much of a temptation strictly courtly love can be. Which brings me to my next point. Clearly, the general theme we should all take away from this is that the rules of chivalry can improve one's life whether or not they are a knight. For example, when the cousins wanted to get closer to Emily than they should have, they ended up turning on each other. Two men, cousins, lifelong friends of the same blood, almost killed each other in all of the madness. This also points to the fact that it is pointless to feud with a fellow knight. There is nothing more disgraceful than betrayal, and it doesn't work out for either party. Along with that, chivalry teaches individuals the value of acting nobly. They honored their commitments to Theseus and were heard by the gods. Despite everything, though, they were still able to recognize the error of their ways and could not help but feel a powerful sense of regret for their fallen comrade. Had they only respected these few simple guidelines, they would have both been alive and still been friends. And while all of this happened in ancient Greece, the lessons still apply to today and beyond. So I thank you, Knight, for myself and for all the pilgrims here. I have been deeply inspired, and I will take these lessons with me through the rest of my journey through life. I like the part where the guy fell off the horse! <laughs>